Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning family. Hope everybody had a great day yesterday as we started Extreme Faith. Now, you gotta think about this. Let's say somebody that you love got a, a really rough medical report, okay? And the doctor said they have a month to live. All of a sudden, everybody has extreme faith. It's easy to have extreme faith. You have one month to get caught up on your house payments or you lose your house. It's easy to have extreme faith, okay? But what if you could tap into extreme faith and you could have extreme faith 365, 24-7, every day of your life? Then what would your life look like? If you were able to just move with extreme faith in all aspects of your life. You know, people that do sales for a living, they get extreme faith the last three days of the month to meet their quota. But what if they worked all month with extreme faith? You know, a lot of times people, they only use their faith when they really, really need something. Faith is something that we're supposed to have every day of our life. That's why I always offer prayer on all of these videos. I tell people to, to email us and they send us in a prayer request and, and I pray for them. And I pray with extreme faith that what we come together and pray for will happen. Okay? Matthew 21, 22. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. I can't tell you how many times as, as I travel and I'm working altars and I'm praying for somebody and I'm like, do you believe what we just prayed for? I mean, you you would be surprised at how many people say, no, not really. And I'm like, well, why didn't you come up here? Why did you come to the altar? I mean, like, you got to believe four times. I was reading the other day and I read this scripture in four different places. It said, with man... Things are impossible, but with God, they are possible. See, we got to understand that we serve a supernatural God and all things are possible with him. Hey, I'm let you, you may or may not know, but every night at 9 p.m., I'm doing a September Supernatural uh, live and it's on YouTube my Facebook ministry page, and my Facebook profile page. I felt the Lord say, um, go live every night, 9 p.m. in September. Okay, why? Because I'm believing that people will catch supernatural faith and they will be able to move forward in what God has for them. Just like that scripture, whatever you ask in prayer, See, when, when we go and we ask in prayer, we go with authority, okay? We talk about the authority of God. And when we go in that authority and we have the faith, whatever we pray for, we will receive. And a lot of people say, ah, you just don't, you know, you just really don't get all your prayers answered. So one day I got a journal. And I went to prayer and I wrote down every prayer request on Monday. Went to every prayer request on Tuesday. And I started writing them down. But what I did, I got a highlighter. And whenever a prayer would be answered, I would go back and I would find it and I would highlight it. So about six months later, I went and picked this journal up and I was going through. All the pages were filled with highlighter. I remember one time... Uh, I was really young and I just started traveling and there was this one evangelist. Man, he preached in all the big conferences, all the conventions. And so I had a few minutes one day to talk to him. And I said, man, I'm just getting started in all this. I mean, you know, give me some advice. And he said, you better believe what you preach. The world doubts, we do not. And he said, you know, when I pray for something, I always get it. He said, but the thing is, my heart 
is always aligned with God's will for my life. So when I pray something, I'm actually praying the will of the Father. And then he was just telling me that. And I'm like, okay, Lord, that's, that's really good. So this is what I started praying. Lord, I declare that you put your will, your desire in my heart. So when I pray, I'm always praying the kingdom, okay? I don't pray my will. I don't say, hey, God, this is what I want to do. Will you partner with me and bless what I'm doing? What I do is I ask God to put his desire in me. I'll be a willing vessel. So I put all my efforts into the kingdom assignment over my life. And like, like that gentleman told me, when we pray for stuff, everything that we pray for comes to pass. A lot of people don't understand that. But like religious people hate when I say that. So I'm going to say it for all the religious people one more time. I, when I pray for things, we receive everything we pray for. What religious people don't get is they just pray for, God bless me with a new house. God bless me with a million dollars. God bless me. Listen, you're just, you're just throwing stuff out. When you pray from the heart of God, aligned with the kingdom, you will not pray your desires. You will pray his desires. And when you start to pray his desires, everything changes. The Bible says don't pray amiss. Don't just pray just off the wall prayers. It doesn't work like that. You got to understand the kingdom. I remember one time I, I was at a conference and I came up and somebody kind of gave me a lengthy prayer thing. And you walk about praying, you got you know, hundreds of people there and you're just going praying for people. When I got th this one lady, she had like a list. And the Holy Spirit said, do not pray for any of those. And I said, hey, I'm going to ask the Lord that you really align yourself with him. Um, and she just looked at me and said, why does everybody say that? And I said, because you're praying out of the flesh. you got to learn to pray out of the Spirit. When you pray out of the Spirit, and have extreme faith, everything will come to you, okay? And you got to understand having extreme faith and extreme obedience. The other day, a company reached out to me. They said, we want to put you on our weekly podcast. And I said, okay. They gave me their name. I'm not saying it. We get 2.9 million um, hits uh, a week. We will put you, promote two of your books on our show, 2.9 million listeners. Holy Spirit said no. I said, no, thank you so much for the offer, but I'm not available at this time. When would you be available? I said, I will not be available, but thank you. They said, 2.9 million views. I said, I'm sorry, I just don't feel this is this is right for me. I feel it was a little bit of a setup. They don't believe like me. They don't believe <laughs> like me at all. Okay? To have extreme faith, you got to trust God. Even when, hey, 2.9 million people would listen to a broadcast that I did, I could promote my books. I'd sell a lot of books. That'd be a lot of financial blessing. You know, it blessed my family. And then we sow a, a portion of what we make, you know, we sow. And so it bless other people. But God said, don't do it. I'm not doing it. Okay? Extreme faith. Let me go to uh let me go to another scripture. Oh, let's go to uh Romans 10 17. Faith then is birth in the heart that responds to God's anointed utterance of the anointed one, okay? Faith then is birth in the heart that responds to God's anointed utterance of the anointed one, okay? Another translation says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. So we read the word, learn the word. When we do that, it, it the Holy Spirit, see the Holy Spirit brings things back to your remembrance. 
that's why that's why you need to to know the word what the holy spirit is is kind of like a search engine on a computer when you start praying holy spirit can bring things back to your remembrance okay i remember one time there was this a school church with this older guy i think he could quote the bible backwards in tongues probably I mean, you would name anything and he would just start rattling off scripture. He knew the word like, just like knew the word. So good. And and he would just, he could always just bring, and he just said, the Holy Spirit will always bring things back to my remembrance. You want to talk about faith? I got a scripture. Talk about healing? I got scriptures. You want to talk about finances? You want to talk about marriage? You want to talk about getting people set free from depression? And just whatever it was, he just knew the word. And so, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word, you know, of, of God. And so you got the word and then you have the Holy Spirit that can bring things back to your remembrance. To have extreme faith, you have to believe that whenever the Lord speaks something to you, when the word of God says something, it is the absolute truth and the outcome is going to be exactly what the Holy Spirit or the Word of God says, okay? And understand that, that the Holy Spirit will always speak in line with the Word of God. And when you do that, you will be able to move forward with extreme faith. And that will shift everything. Now, in this, in this day and age, it's, it's, it's wild out there in them streets. That's why we got to have faith. That's why we got to move forward in advance, okay? So I hope you guys really grabbed a hold of what we're talking about today with extreme faith. You know, I was doing a conference one time with a bunch of, I guess you call them healing ministers. They just walk in signs and wonders. And we were talking, and, and this one minister that was there was a pastor of a church, and he was new to everything, and he was talking about how do you have faith to, to reach out for somebody. And, and, and I, I just told him, I said, if someone has a, a cough or a common cold or someone's in a wheelchair, there's no difference to God. He's God. He can do anything. Um, I remember one time I had a physical infirmity that you could see. It was, it was bad. You could literally see it. Okay. And I remember two older intercessors got their hand and st stuck it on this infirmity that I had. And I literally saw it go away just like that. And I was like, I was probably like 22. And I was like, wow. And they were like, well, what did you think, man of faith? I'm like, I just never, never seen that before. You know, I remember one time I was a guest minister at a very big camp meeting and I, I tried to act cool, but I didn't do a very good job. Someone had like a growth and I put my hand on their, their shoulder where that growth was and it just dissolved. And I was like, and they were like, oh my gosh, my shoulder's on fire. It's gone. I'm like, yes, child, the Lord has healed you. <laughs> No, listen, I ain't got no dignity, y'all, on stuff like that. I'm like, hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, this guy, woo! Well, it was going, boy, it was on. That's that will build your faith, okay? I remember, I remember one time at another meeting like that, a guy came up on crutches, and the Holy Spirit said, "Take his crutches." I'm not take his crutches, okay? And. <laughs> So I took his crutches. I said, start walking. You're going to hear your legs pop. Everybody in that place looked at me like I was crazy. I said, Lord, if you don't heal him, I ain't getting out of this place. Took his crutches. The guy started walking. Pop, 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 pop. Took off jogging. He's going to do it or he's not. His word is true or it's not. Come on now. You got to have extreme faith. I've seen people with divorce papers on a desk. And I'm like, oh, y'all ain't getting no divorce. You ain't getting no divorce. I tell you what, I'll buy y'all's dinner. Y'all go out. No arguing. I gave them some guidelines. They fell back in love. It cost me $30. Back then, it was cheap to go out and eat with two people. But 
I just was praying the whole time they'd fall back in love, and they did. Okay? And you just got to have faith. You got to have faith that he's going to do it. I've been personally praying for some things recently. It came through. Won't he do it? Because he's a good God, okay? So I love you guys. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see y'all tomorrow.